want. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Good as Gold, number 50, the Grand Finals. I'm Ord, that's O-R-D. You can find me at all these beautiful locations down below. We're happy to bring you this ZVZ on Taldarim Altar with the one, the only, the Nostalgia Talex. Hello, sir. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hopefully good. I'm gonna Hopefully. Double. We're at the finals now, so it should be amazing. Uh, I really call. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> All right, let's do the introductions. Here's fine in the bottom right-hand corner as our orange Zerg player on Taldarim Altar. We have Benthek. Indeed it is, and in one moment, everything will be represented correctly. Ignore that overlay, guys. Battle.net likes to mess with me. And in the lower left-hand corner of our screen, it is the red Zerg. <clears throat> Oh my god, he's Max. Nicely done. He was playing random, but it looks like he has been given Zerg once again. So, just like the semifinals, guys, we'll see if the starting of this game may at least be a ZVZ. Now, this is very well a good possibility that it could go to game three here. These are the finals. Both players obviously proving themselves thus far to get this far in the tournament. All right, it looks like Benthek going for that 14 gas. Probably going to be making another drone and then go for the 14 pool. Very, very standard for getting early game speedlings for, oh my god, it's Max. It looks like he's going to be going hatch first opening simply because it does take longer on a big map like this to try to find your opponent and then try to um, be aggressive enough to really punish the fact that they go hatch first. Indeed, and that hatchery is being built and it's not going to be scouted for quite a while as Ben is unfortunately scouting with his drone all the way around in a big circle. He missed... These two overlords actually missed each other as Ben sent his a little bit lower down towards the corner, and then it's going to be coming back up in just a moment. I'm sure he will be aware that this is a ZVZ, but as of yet, he still does not know. He's planning. He to actually asked him. Max what race he was, and Max said Z. Oh, did he? So Max was being good mannered and told him that he was playing against a Zerg player. I don't. I don't actually like that. I. I've heard people doing that, and I've heard it's good mannered, but I think what's the point of playing random if you're just going to tell the person? It's well, I mean, you could play random for two different reasons. One of them is having the advantage early game where your opponent is forced to do things that he's not used to doing because you're playing against a random. And then some other times there's players like playing different races, and they really don't mind having that uh, early game disadvantage by telling them what they are just because they just like playing the game. And I think that's what we're seeing here from, oh my god, it's Max. And the drone scout for Ben Thek is sitting here. He has not yet laid down his expansion, so we might see some cute little board spine crawler action out of him. No, he's just going to go back home. Darn. I was hoping for that as well. I was saying, like, he's just out of the range. He could do something, but that didn't end up happening. We see that, oh my god, it's Max. He's going to be doing the drone transfer over to his natural base. Ben Thek has started his metabolic boost upgrade, and if he wants... Oh, he's actually just going to get another expansion himself. Not going to be going very, very heavy early game, but he is sending those Zerglings into the base. Oh my god, it's Max is making his own Zerglings. He's trying to deal with this, though. And Benthek might actually be pretty far here on early game. Oh, the drones Unless need to engage or to run. One of them dies. Oh, he could have gotten a second one. Oh, the queen pops, and Benthek has to go home. Uh, looks like, though, did he lose anything himself? Uh, nope. Actually, he did not. He killed one Zergling and one drone. Now two, th almost three Zerglings. So, so far, the advantage goes to Ben Thek, I suppose. But the expansion for, oh my god, it's Max, is already down. And that means that Ben, only halfway done with his expansion, will start to fall behind more and more. Oh, unless, of course, the supply block lasts too long. Overlord still only halfway done. So let's see what Max does with the excess minerals he's building up. Just going to see yeah. him. I was going to say, yeah, it's it's looking like Max is going to be taking that early game advantage now that he does have that expansion up. You can see right now, 30, 32 supply to 28. The worker supply, 21 to 19. That is going to continue to grow. Um, but at the same time, Benthek has started teching to roaches. It looks like he might just do a really large roach all in once this roach is, roach warrant is done. The larva injects finishing up. As you can see, a lot of Zergling is being produced as well. So he may just go for one big attack and try to push right through. Oh my god, it's Max. And if, and if he doesn't manage it, then Max is once again going to be maintaining a very large advantage. Interesting spot for the spine crawler to go down for Ben. I, I would hope that he'll build a, he'll allow this queen to come out and kill off uh, Max's overlord so that the roaches can't be spotted too, too easily. 
Oh, yeah, no. actually, oh. Benthek, wow, going f straight for those destructible rocks at the third base. I was definitely expecting to go for one big push, but it looks like he wants to just get that earlier third base up and try to take that advantage by getting a faster economical third base and eventually getting the drone count higher than that of Max. Even with that full surround, these lings take a long time to kill those rocks. That's why a lot of Zerg players don't enjoy maps like this with destructible rocks at all. Uh, Talix, I don't know if you've seen that little gif of uh, Dustin Browder being completely upset that the destructible rocks were being destroyed. I haven't, but I also have a little bit of interesting trivia for you about destructible rocks and zerglings. Please, go ahead. It takes one zergling, 1,000 hits to destroy a destructible rock. So you can start doing that number downwards, okay? So one takes 1,000, two takes 500. 3 takes 333. I mean, that number, you can just keep going down. So you can start trying to figure out exactly how long it will take to destroy destructive rocks, depending on what you have. And you can time yourself up that way by knowing that a Zergling does an attack, I think it's like once, or like every 0.7 of a second. Point so if it, takes, if it takes 1,000 hits to kill one destructible rock, that means that it takes about 700 seconds. Which is a long time. Yes, indeed it is. And actually we see that even though Benthek started killing his rocks first, uh, oh my god, it's Max, has his down long before Benthek is, and Ben actually isn't even sending a drone over there or anything just yet. Instead, looks like he might want a Roach Hydra 2 base attack to develop pretty soon, as that Hydra list then has just popped. Let's see what he uses his larva for. Overlords, not a bad choice. <laughs> Overlords are good. You don't want to be supply blocked as you can see right now. He's already up to 59 of 60 supply. He has gotten that one Hydralis then, so Groove Spines are being researched, which increases the range of a Hydralis by an additional one. Maxo is going to be on three base very soon. He has been focused very much on the Zerglings that he has right now, but he did start getting some Roaches. He does have that plus one missile attack upgrade with the ground carapace being started. Layers on its way as well as an infestation pit. So Max, um, though down in supply right now by about eight... That is going to be changing soon, as he's just going to be making tons and tons of drones. Um, as you can, well, actually, he's not making drones yet. He's continuing to make roaches, which means that he doesn't have a drone count that he needs right now to, you know, really capitalize on the fact that he's got that base advantage. Well, he's actually uh, Benthek's actually rallying drones back into his main and uh, kind of making himself oversaturated for the moment. Hopefully, he plans to transfer them soon. Interestingly, I've never, I don't know if you've ever seen this little glitch here with the graphics but this overlord has scouted that the hatchery is there yet it appears to be merged with the destructible rocks i at the third of oh my god it's max it's just an interesting little phenomena of just exactly where the overlord is interesting i i don't see that but that's weird i'm looking at your screen so uh when i hit the v button here um uh, maybe it's just appearing on my side, but okay. Just... Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, okay, I see that now. But he <laughs> can definitely see that there are drones mining there, so he's well aware that it's three base against three base right now. He does have overlords in a pretty aggressive posture forward, um, not really providing them all that much information. I guess they'd be useful as a notification uh, when the army does finally move out, if it does. He has the Zelnaga with a few Lings who are going in for that run-by right now. A nice forward Ling by Benthek gives him a forewarning. And let's see what he responds with, with Roaches. Yeah, he definitely already had something there to deal with this. And I gotta say, Benthek has been playing this very good because he hasn't been really cutting drones at this point. Max is still behind in that drone count, which means that, you know, he didn't have enough to completely saturate what he's doing. He's had good larva injects and whatnot, but... You know, he doesn't have that drone count that Benthek has, and Benthek is just going to keep growing, as you can see. Another seven are being produced, bringing that worker supplier now 55 to 50 as, oh my god, Max just made nine. But still, uh, after making nine, he's still down by five. So The extractor's going down now for Ben, so it looks like he's going to go with a little bit of the heavier gas play. But that's interesting that the income tab is still in that position. Now it's a three harvester difference. Uh, after that last pop and the production tab shows us that neither are producing any more drones looks like we might start producing those first engagement armies pretty soon yep Benthek though is behind on those upgrades he is just getting that plus one right now as well as glue reconstitution as and um, ground carapace oh my god it's max though he does have the one one already he does have some investors as well 
But, uh, you know, he's just going to be staying on those three bases for a little while. He does have and... fungal growth on those infestors already as well. That 1-1 one, one is a good call. Um, the 0-0 zero, zero still for Ben might hurt him. The macro hatch going down. Evo chambers are finally a about to finish. And now Ben's connecting his bases. This is a good thing to do. If you're a Zerg yeah, player, make I mean... sure your own bases are connected by creep. I mean, Benthek starting off a little bit behind, but, you know, he's definitely taken that advantage, making so many drones. He's just made another nine right now, bringing that work supply 66 to 75, or 57. Oh, a little bit of a run by here by, oh my god, it's Max with a couple of Zerg games. He's going to get straight up into the space, see if he can find anything. Looks like he's going to try to get us around on that queen. Is unable to, as the Zerglings from Benthek are there to counter him. And it looks like that little bit of an army getting cleaned up there, and Benthek, Mao is really taking a lead now. Um... He was actually at 138 to 118, but then 11 rushes were being made by, oh my god, it's Max. But Benthek is looking very, very smooth. Yeah, and the income um, now being nine drones in Benthek's favor. However, there is a fourth base already going down for, oh my god, it's Max. Uh, we could be entering quite a long ZVZ, which is unusual pretty much always. Like at all levels, ZVZs tend to not enter that uh, late game just because of how easy aggression can be. But when it does enter, that Broodlord versus Broodlord uh, exchange is really entertaining to watch, I gotta say. Just yeah, definitely. I gotta say the same thing. I really love late game Zerg versus Zerg, so we don't just see a game the last two minutes with like a Zerg wing all in that ends up does working or not working. But, you know, getting to this position that it's at right now, it looks like Benthek was checking for a fourth base, actually finding it with these Zerg wings. Um, and he's probably gonna get a cancel off on this hatchery, but oh, never mind. Looks like Max being right there early to the party. Gonna be able to stop that from doing any damage, and that hatchery will finish up. Indeed, it will. Not really uh, very cost efficient for Ben there, except to let him know that, yeah, there is a hatchery there. Do like to see this by him. He's got one Zergling on patrol up here at these three bases where it's more than likely that uh, Max would expand to after taking his fourth location. We see Ben has taken a fourth of his own. Both of our players are more or less maxed out. Yep, there it is, 199, 191 with some more roaches about to pop, and then we'll... Yeah, we're pretty much at two maxed armies right now for base. Um, I will say it appears that Max is a little bit ahead considering he has the 2-2 two -two upgrades completed before Ben does, but his should uh, be popping in about 10 game sec or 3 game seconds and 50 game seconds. A little bit more creep spread out of Ben. And I, I'm not sure. What do you think would be the best decision right now for Max to do considering he's got this slight advantage? Max should be attacking. He should be definitely attacking. He does have quite a lot of investors here, so some great fungals can go down. Trapping those Zerglings from actually being useless so they can't get surrounds. And then his Roaches should actually push right through the main army. So I think this would be a really great time for him to attack. But he's also, at the same time, he's putting down two Spires as well as getting that Hive Tech so he can actually move towards those Broodlords a little bit sooner. The Double Spire there, obviously, for these upgrades. Indeed, I do like, oh, a few Hydras moving out, sniping off that forward Overlord. Let's see yeah, if looks Max, like Max gets upset. Have any of that. Oh, he did not appreciate that. He liked his Overlord. These Hydras, uh, I'll have two of them get out. I really like what Ben's doing here. He has, he's taking advantage of the fact that Hydralists have greater range, so he's using the choke point uh, and having his Lings out in another location so they can come down and surround the army if Max decides to take a really poor engagement right here in front of the base. And, oh, I don't know, he might be deciding to do that right now. He does have a decent arc that will develop here. The Lings are way out of position, and this could go really bad for Ben. He is going to force this base to die up top, but these Lings have a long way to go to get involved in this oh. fight. All the fungal going down. More and more fungals. And the lings are just barely going to get here in time. And if they target fire down those infestors. Oh, nice defensive fungal to save a few of the infestors. However, I think Ben will be able to survive this attack. Nice micro forward by Max who wants to do as much damage as possible. Yeah, it looks like that did hit pretty nicely at the same time. Oh my god, it's Max. He tried to make the base up in the top left-hand corner that was denied by a couple of Zerglings. Benthek with the massive resupply right now. The supply is 163 to 175 in favor of Oh my god, it's Max. But Max really should be pulling back all those roaches at this point. He cannot engage quite yet. Okay, oh, here we ben go. Needs to His run resupply now. is here. 
And he's going to get a really nice concave attack with everything as those hydras in the back weren't doing anything. And Max is going to continue to flood more roaches right now. Looks like he's going to try to get up here, but Femtech does have 